Ross, I'm just looking at the, the box score now. 264 rushing yards for you guys Saturday. I mean, at the, at the end of the day, how much do you enjoy seeing that kind of a number? I do. I mean, just... You know, it makes us fun for us offensive linemen knowing that, you know, doing our job and it's executing and, um, you know, working. So uh, it just makes it fun for us. And just seeing those guys have all those explosive plays um, just makes the game a lot of fun for us. The team has been talking about the need to start fast. Obviously, uh, you know, with the fumble early, that's not the way y'all wanted it to end. But to be able to move the field on those first couple of drives, how did that feel? I think that was big for us just knowing that we can move the field. And just um, you know how we came out and played fast like we wanted to, and we didn't get the results, so we were kind of mad about that. And um, just going forward, though, we knew that we could move the ball, and so we were going to do just that once we got the ball back again. So, yeah. <laughs> coach talked about uh, in the second half against Arkansas. I felt like you guys didn't control the game as well, and, and we, you know, obviously controlling the game is crucial. He says moving forward. Uh, what does that mean to you in your role? The game. Uh, I just think as an offense, you know, we like to uh, kind of take the air out of the game, like we say, and just when we get the ball back late in the game, you know, we need to keep our defense off the field and just really control the line of scrimmage and, you know, do our jobs and just get first downs. So I think, you know, Arkansas did a good job at that in the second half. You know, the time of possession was, you know, they were up pretty big with that. So um, I'd just say that and just control, controlling the ball and taking care of, you know, the ball and stuff like that. So. Does that become even more important when you're going against a team that seems to have a knack for, for making comebacks late in the game? Definitely. You know, I mean, especially as we get into these bigger games, um, just guys, you know, that don't give up. And we need to play a full game, play 60 minutes in the game. And, you know, like we said, uh, you know, play four quarters, and the fourth quarter should be ours. So, you know, when we get to that fourth quarter and it's, you know, crucial, we need to hold on to the ball and just keep our defense off the field. What does this rivalry mean to you? Uh, you know, being from Iowa, I, you know, was kind of a spectator a little bit, but I do remember, like Sean said earlier, uh, that Terrence Cody block. I mean, they played a lot in the locker room or whatever, and they got pictures of it everywhere. So I think, you know, that's a pretty big moment for this Alabama Tennessee rivalry, and I think a lot of people remember that moment, especially. I don't know how much Alabama you watched back then, but, you know, the, the old saying about their offense used to be the three yards in a cloud of dust. What's it like seeing or being part of this? up-tempo offense now that's leading the SEC in scoring at this point? Uh, you know, it's been different. Um, you know, we've just, I think, evolved so much as an offense, and Coach Kiffin and the coaching staff's done a really good job. So, you know, it makes it so fun to see, you know, all of our hard work that we've put into that, you know, just kind of pay off for us. And so going forward, I think the guys have really bought into it and um, just seeing, you know, how it works. So I think, you know, it'll be good for us in the future, too. What's the key to get through the grind? And I'm not asking you. Yeah, I mean, you definitely feel it. You know, we just had our sixth game, and you can definitely feel it as you know your body starts to wear down and stuff like that. But I just think they preach, you know, and our nutrition staff and um, you know Jeff Allen and all those guys do a great job of just getting us in the hot tubs and just eating the right things, giving us the right stuff. And you know, once we're off the practice field, just going and you know recovering and laying down, getting off your feet. So I think they do a really good job of that. And that's some some of the things that you know just set us apart. So, is this the fun part of the season? I mean, you get this really tough stretch where you're playing some of the top mm -hmm. teams. And, you know, are you guys having fun? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I mean, just to see the results that we're getting, and just all the hard work paying off, and just to know you know the possibility that this team has and um, the potential is just you know makes it really fun for us and kind of have a step up our game and know that you know we have a lot ahead of us. So, Let's do a couple more. How polished do you guys feel like you are as an offense at this point? Um, you know, I think we're clicking pretty well and gelling. I think each game, you know, we kind of seem to get better and better. So I think, you know, that makes it exciting for us just to know that, you know, we got a whole other week of practice to prepare and get better as a, you know, unit. So, you know, we'll get the game plan. And I think, you know, we'll just continue to grow as an offense. I don't know if you saw, but Jalen was honored by the SEC for the second time this year today. Um, you know, what's your reaction to that? And also, you know, how have you seen him grow over the season? I'm not surprised. And I mean, just for him being such a young guy, you know, it's so impressive for me to see a guy like that just come into such a big role, you know, the starting quarterback at the University of Alabama. And just to do such a good job and carry, you know, with such composure, um, you know, I'm just, I continue to be impressed by him each week. And just to go into hostile environments like Arkansas and just play the game like he did, you know, it just speaks volume to his character and him as a player, so. Thank you guys for saying